So we are on day two of the Dripping Springs. Dripping Springs part of our series, the very first part of our series. The first of, episode of Why It's Wander, Texas. There it is. So we had a great time yesterday. I uh, didn't really get to do a whole lot because I had a meeting about midday. So Back in San um, Marcos. Back in San Marcos. So I had to drive all the way back to San Marcos. This morning we are heading over to, uh, back to Dripping, Skull and Cake Bones again. Mm -hmm. And then from there we are planning on going to a winery. We'll let them see where we go. Okay. We'll let them see. Yeah. Hopefully it gives you guys some ideas. You know, whenever you come into the area, definitely stop by dripping because there's a lot to do. So let's get to the video. Yep. I mean, this is it. So we're here. Uh. There's a pair up front, a lot of lime in the middle. That sounds like you. Does it? Yeah. <clears throat> than typical so a lot of times it's just a real faint strawberry peach <laughs> this is more pomegranate cranberry okay. so a little more bigger a little more bigger because that's genetically correct more bigger right. in texas it is right yeah i got a little bit of sage a little bit of meatiness on the finish Like a I'm gonna taste oaky. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. So basically, what I figured out since I've been here, the very first taste, keeping your mouth for a little bit, so you can actually taste that, that first note of whatever it is. And so she said this one tastes like black tobacco, kind of, you know, like cherry pipe tobacco or something. So I started tasting that. I don't think you hear anything. I'm sorry. Probably not. Yeah. So that initial taste, you taste it in your mouth, but as it's going, like you're swallowing and it's like leaving, you start tasting the spiciness of it. So it's like a first taste. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
what did you think about the winery or the wine that tasting? Wine tasting. So this wasn't actually like a, a full vineyard. What they do is they import grapes from different areas, like uh, I mean, basically North Texas, California, and a few other places like that. And so uh, yeah, we tried some whites, some reds. And a uh, rosé and a sweet, some kind of sweet wine that, that you ended up buying. So there were five different six. types of six. There were six. And uh, the last one was, they called it the Drippin' Sweet um, because Dripping Springs, but it was delicious. It tasted like peachios, like little peach candy. So we ended up getting a bottle and then we got uh, the whole glass, like you do the wine tasting and you get the glass too. Um, and we got that, and one of the glasses is going to go in our giveaway for 20000 So that's pretty cool. Um, they're little, like, branded wine glasses. Yeah, I'm more of a, all right, I guess if you want wine, I'll go to Walmart and get it kind of guy. The reds had more taste, I feel like. The, the whites just were sweet, which uh, I knew Blair would like a bit more. Blair hates reds so much. Six pretty good wines. One I hated actually, the white one. There's a white one that had papaya in it. I found out I don't like papaya very much. The peach one, we had to get it and we had to get that glass obviously for one, one of you lucky few. But yeah, I mean it was, it was neat. But yeah, they, don't, they import the grapes, they actually create the wine here and they're gonna start a brewery soon. I also talked to the lady and she calls this area Drinking Springs. So it's mostly beer, wine, and spirits besides tequila. So there's no tequila here apparently. It's all vodka and whiskey and things like that. So the next place we're gonna go is Jester King. So Jester King is one of my favorites. They use kind of a spontaneously fermented style of brewing. So what that gives is more of a sour beer. For those that have had sours, this is a little different. It's not like a pickle taste. It's more of like a, a slightly sour wine, actually, but it's a beer. It's a pretty laid back area with uh, pizza that can be made vegan. So it's, it's actually a really neat area. It's more of a family uh, event here in Dripping Springs. And it's by, right by Rymer's Ranch, and so we didn't get to do any kind of exploring through the wilderness or climbing. But if you do come to Dripping and you're a bit more active, please do Rymer's Ranch and then go to Jester King. If that's my only suggestion to y'all, do those two things. All right, let's go. These aren't the best shoes for walking on rocks. <laughs> they have like a little sand pit oh, for yeah. kids right there. And then there should be like, I don't know, there's balls here last time that kids can play with. Last time we came out here, which was quite a while ago, it was so busy, but there were a ton of kids playing out in this field. And it was like at dusk. So it was actually really, really cool. Tons and tons of kids playing. And then the parents, you know, we're sitting right here drinking beer and hanging out. It's just beautiful. This place is awesome.
50 different beers. A lot of uh, things like this, spontaneously fermented beers. They're very sour, a lot of them are very sweet. And this one in particular is their new one, it's the first one with apples in it. It should be pretty sweet, but still a little bit sour. And so that's the kind of beer that I kind of like. It adds like a lot of complexity to a beer. It's not just like a Bud Light or something. This kind of place, you can get pizza, you can sit down, hang out with like a really good beer, really good, you know, people like Blair. Come and uh, just kind of enjoy yourself. It's really neat to become like at night whenever the sun's going down. But I still haven't tried this beer yet. Let's go take a quick taste of it. Right, yeah, it's just really sour. That's good. I can't really taste the apples. Yeah, here, you should try them there. <laughs> y'all enjoyed this first little episode of the Wyatt's Wonder Texas and we'll be posting on our Instagram and our Facebook and actually before we head out what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our next stop so yep. what we will be doing in this series is just going to whatever city that real ale <laughs> we're not sponsored but not, hey not sponsored if they feel like yet. reaching out to us feel free yeah um <laughs> so we pop the bottle cap of the real ale beer, Matt does, and we go to the city that is on the cap. So leaving a lot up to chance, but it's gonna get us to explore more parts of Texas and probably a lot that we've never been to before. Some of them will take the RV, some of them we won't, like dripping we didn't need to. It was so close. Yep, um, got lucky there. So let me get the camera set up. All right, sir. All right. So, so this is from Real Ale. It's a Texas-based company. They only do Texas beers. And so they're also the only company that I know from Texas that puts their, like, put cities on the bottle cap. So mm -hmm. let's check it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not bad. Tyler. Not Tyler. bad. Tyler. There's actually several All things right. to do there. And, All right. uh, so the next thing in our trip technically is Las Vegas, not part of the Texas series. And so there's gonna be a little bit of a, a span between now and the next part of the series. It's about six hours from, from where we are now. So we're definitely gonna take the RV on this one. At least a Mexican restaurant there. There's probably a few other things to do. Um, it's actually uh, where my family meets up. It's a uh, center point uh, for, you know, my family that's all the way at the edge of Texas and us who, uh, you know, are in the central part of Texas. We do reunions there. So yeah. Tyler, Texas right. it is. <laughs> Come in for Tyler. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, we will, I think maybe the next time you see us, we'll be in Vegas. Maybe not, but the next couple videos. Look forward to Vegas. I have no idea what we're going to get into, but I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, we're going with a couple friends, so you guys will get to meet some new new friends in the Wyatt clan. They're not Wyatts, but they're part they're of... They're not Wyatts. They're honorary They're like Wyatts. honorary Wyatts. Honorary Wyatts. It's going to be fun. So make sure and stay tuned. If this is the first time that you came across our channel, make sure and subscribe. Yeah. Run! <laughs> yeah. Make sure and hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. It really helps out the channel. Leave us some comments below and like I said, subscribe. Uh, and that's, I think that's going to be it. If any of you guys have ever been to Dripping, let us know in the comments. Uh, and let us know your favorite thing to do in Dripping Springs so other people that do plan to head that way will know what else to do when they're in the area. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep. Have fun out there. Bye. I suck back. Why are you sitting like that? Because the pillow, it deflated. <laughs> God. All right, that's how you're going to sit? I think so. Okay, shishu. Sure, sure. <laughs> we tried six different types of Six different types of wine. <laughs> that. Make sure and you hit up make sure and hit that like button if you did enjoy the video it really helps out the channel now so yeah we're probably gonna split this into two potentially 
right? Well, this so, is the second episode. Okay, right, yeah. So, so we'll the, have known whether it's one. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, we're splitting this one into two. Uh,